completing a home project is hard. Completing a home project with kids in the mix is even harder. I have two tips on how to make the impossible possible. I'm Katherine O'Brien, relationship psychotherapist at happywithbaby.com and the author of Happy With Baby, Essential Relationship Advice When Partners Become Parents. And if I'm being honest, I am a project person. I can come up with all sorts of projects to do, projects at home, projects for my business, self-improvement projects, everything. But since having my children almost 12 years ago, the speed to which I can actually execute all of these wonderful projects I come up with is a completely different story. So for instance, the book that I published in December, I had this lofty goal that it would take me maybe a year to do, which it took me five, maybe a little bit longer than that. Um, but with planning and letting go of unrealistic expectations, which was huge, since I have two kids at home also and running a business and mom duties, it's finally done. So one of the things I realized recently after being home here um, endlessly, I wanted to make some changes in our house because things just weren't in the right place. They weren't organized in the way I would want them to be. There was no pictures on the walls and things like that. So, I mean, I, I definitely find it harder to accomplish the things that I want to do with, with my kids being here. And I tend to like to, okay, if you leave, then I can get everything done and then I can do it. But that doesn't happen with kids and it especially isn't happening right now. So how am I going to do all the things that I want to do? So I definitely turn to my s small changes for big shifts and created a mini task list to accomplish the goal of fixing up our bedroom while also having my kids at home. So like I said, I'm a project person and I like to make lists. So Rick, my husband and my partner in crime, originally we came up with a list of all the things that we wanted to do in the house and went from room to room and listed all of the things. Now granted, I would personally like to do them all at once. Not realistic, right? Financially or logistically. And um, so he gently reminded me <laughs> of my tried and true life approach for small changes for big shifts. And we, I'm having some internet glitches today, you guys. I'm so sorry. I hope you can hear me. All right. So we laughed <laughs> for about the longevity of our trusty bedroom set that has seen us through the years. Um, but then we took it step by step and started meeting with Elizabeth Hall from Elizabeth Hall Designs. And we talked about what would really feel good for both of us and what actually would look good in our space. Cause that was one of the things I definitely was not sure about. And after her wonderful suggestions, we talked about it. Uh, we laughed about the things that we knew wouldn't work for us and what we liked and what we didn't like. And then we moved forward from there. And so then the next step was picking out actual furniture that we could both agree on. So we went furniture shopping online <laughs> and then we finally agreed on something. And then we went in person to make certain it was what we were actually seeing. And then in early December, we went ahead and we picked out the paint and the paint supplies and we scheduled time when we were going for what weekend we were going to paint. Now with kids and with life in general, Things don't happen when you think they're going to happen. And so we had to postpone those dates by a couple weekends. And so, um, so again, <laughs> we have to keep our sense of humor, I think is a big one. And we settled into what we, we needed and our attention that, um, that weekend, instead of trying painting 
what we had planned, right? So we figured out the next avail available time slot and made it happen. And it happened to be the week between Christmas and New Year's and I had taken some time off of work. And while the painting process um, took double the time, I thought it'll take us about a day and a half. It took us more like three days, if not a little longer. But I'm so happy with what that fresh paint did for the room and it just feels so warm and comforting and has like brightened things up as well. And I just can't wait till the whole room is truly transformed as soon as our furniture arrives, which now our furniture is delayed <laughs> for about two more months. So I've come up with a, a couple other projects that I have to do in the meantime because I can't have my clothes that were in a dresser laying on my floor in a suitcase for two months. So another project has been in the works. And so my big two tips to remind you is to remember small shifts for big change and laugh, my dear friends, laugh, because nothing is gonna go exactly the way you plan it, but make room for that and enjoy the process. So if you miss my Facebook Live with Elizabeth Hall Designs on Friday last week, watch it. The link is below. And she shared some really wonderful ways to simplify your home with small kids. She talked about storage, using the space that you have, and how to make shifts to make it work for your family now and as it grows and changes. So if you're watching this, this video um, as a recording, please join our Facebook Live happy with baby community and until next time take care of yourself and it's not when you have time to take care of yourself but make the time because you are important take care <music>